Sims. You remember me saying Sims? I said Sims, Sims, Sims. And I said, Todd Hall, you got to remember the, the name Sims, right? And I wrote it in my book, and it said, tell Sims I'm going to give him an unusual new ministry. I'm going to let him build a new home for his wife. And I'm talking about you right there on the end of that piece. You better. <laughs> and we'll be back after we preach. That's just enough to wake some of you up who want to be in here acting sanctified. Young man in the black suit looking like this, how old are you? How old are you? No, not you. That young man, you know you ain't young, you my age and more. I'm talking that young man right there that keeps looking back. Stand up. 16. How's math? Because the Lord told me to tell you, your future is locked up in math. And the Lord said, because you saw folk running and just look like, yeah, okay. The Lord said, tell you, where's your mother? Because the Lord said, tell you, I don't know what's going on. He says, if you were to praise today, you will get your pre-funding for school in any college in the world. And your kashikatabosia. Wait a minute. Hello, mother, 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 mother. Don't think I'm crazy. Are you a single parent? You are a single parent. Because the Lord said, if he really prays his heart like he should, him being the man of the house, you can pack your boxes by the beginning of the year and move, but he has to send his praise. Y'all y'all help us. Show our balcony. Y'all want to assist us a little bit. We got to teach our young men how to go for it. Bible said he called the young because they're strong. They've got energy. They have energy. Be seated. Thank you. Now, please do not get used to this because I am not a name caller normally. I told the bishop, it hits me every now and then, and then it's gone. But I'm always prophesying. I'll point to you even if I don't know your name. Because the Lord know your name and you know your name. Jabez had a name, but God didn't change it. He just changed his circumstances. So if I don't call you by your name, as long as the God in me address your situation, that's all that really matters. There's a woman recovering all she ever lost because she joined this church. Her joining this church was really not for preaching or anything. She had to be in this environment to recover all she had. I couldn't spell her name, but I'm going to say the name. And the Lord said, if this woman gets up, anyone in that row, if she didn't leave, Anyone in that row who wants a new place to live and wants to see your son saved, if you jump with this woman, it's an automatic deal. Her name is Portia. And there's only one. I don't hear nobody. So that whole, why y'all not with them? Which one is Portia? The one in the blue with the gold blouse? Okay. Y'all be seated. If we don't rejoice for others, we will never get what rightfully belongs to us. Bishop Brady, let me show you my notebook because I can't read it, but I got to give the last one, then I need to preach something. Your bishop friend, I don't know his name, who we went to eat with. Yeah, because I can't say it, so... Collect. When, when I was sitting, this chicken scratch, you can't read it. It says, the bishop from Texas, that's a TX. That's right. Now, I can't read the rest because I was writing so fast when God was telling me, he said, said, the wife, is the wife here? Said, the wife must get up and dance. That says, wife, D-A-N-C-E, dance, because she doesn't, so that they can get their deeds to the land and their money and their property be set free out in Texas. The law says she has to do that. Get around her. Where the ushers? 
I just told y'all how it works. And it's a shame that a white praiser got to teach us black folk how to let go. That's how we used to do it in the days of Pentecost. Be seated. They're going to get a miracle. And it's going to take one. It's going to take a miracle. What's this man's name? Pastor Tom? Because when she was getting a miracle for the land, the Lord said, when, whatever day, the whole front row from one side to the next really praises him, God said, I'm going to do something the doctor said. I'm going to give him new eardrums. God said, I'm going to create eardrums in his, in his ear. I don't hear nobody. But God said, the whole church, the front row, must stop acting like you're acting at this moment. All right, that's my 25 minutes. Now, Genesis 35. Genesis 35. I know folks say, just keep prophesying. No, no, no. I, I, I have something that I have to tell you. I refuse to be another prophet only with a gift. I want to say to you, ma'am, I want to say to you that while you were jumping and going off, December 12th of this year is supposed to be your father's funeral. God says, don't fear it, but God said, because you jumped hard, he says, I'm determining whether to let him be like Hezekiah. Y'all ain't talking to me. The Lord said, I'm determining right now whether to extend his life on earth because you acted in proper form at the announcement of a future word. Most people don't understand prophecy. They hear the word, but the reason why it never comes to pass is not because the vessel is false, but is that the person receiving does not know how to react. When a person lets you use their car, you better use it. But if you don't say thank you, I bet you won't use it again. You can put gas in it, but if you don't say thank you, and act like it was worth you barring it, you will never get it again. And that's where we fail. When them words don't come to pass, we blame somebody. If I tell you, thus saith the Lord, thou shalt get married, and you don't get married, then you're going to blame.